I'm Jonathan Green. I'm Ethan's dad. I uh, went to uh, CUSA in the seventh grade. So it's really neat having my kids, especially Ethan's about the same age when I started there. Uh, several years ago in North Gadsden, I graduated in 2001 from CUSA. And uh, we actually graduated. Our service was where y'all eat lunch now. So I think that was kind of kind of odd, but neat too at the same time. But um, I have uh, I drive a truck for Southeastern Food Merchandisers, and it's uh, I enjoy it pretty pretty good. Uh, we haven't run the last few days because of weather, so I really appreciate that. And I enjoy watching my kids grow up, be involved in what they enjoy being involved in, whether it be baseball, uh, dance, soccer, uh, t-ball just various different activities that they get involved in. That's, um, that's that's something I really enjoy, just watching them grow, develop, and learn how to work together as a team with others. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's who I am. Not much to it. What is the best advice that you have ever received? Best advice? Um, it's hard to narrow in on just a one solid sound piece of advice that is, uh, I th I'm thinking of the, I can't remember if it was C.T. Studd or who the, the quote, I believe it was a missionary though that had the quote of, you know, uh, that only one life to live so soon it will pass, only what's done for Christ will last. And that's ultimately all that matters is that Christ Jesus is the foundation and whatever we do with the talents or gifts and the time that he gives us to fulfill his purpose for our lives that's what really matters and uh, I think of phrases that I've heard like um, be where your feet are be where your feet are at and as a young person I know a lot of times <clears throat> it's challenging because at your age you're thinking we're down the road not necessarily where you're at right now currently and you look forward to these milestone these mile markers where well I turn 15 I get my driver's permit I can start driving 16, I get a car, I get out and get a little more independence, you know, different different ages and milestones you get to. And it's if you're not careful, you'll just, you'll get on down the road in life and you'll look back and say, man, I really, um, I really wasted a lot of time there and I wish I'd have done this or wish I'd have done, you'll just wish your life away. So just be where your feet are, uh, focus right there on the, the present. Obviously you want to have a plan for the future and that'll change as you get older. Um, especially if you find hopefully what it is the Lord wants, the, the whole purpose that you're here for, what he has you here for. You find that, uh, man, you talk about finding a, a meaningful life and uh, and just having fulfillment and joy and, and not, not having a life of regret. I thought often, you know, I'm not, I don't believe I'm gonna be on my deathbed or anyone has ever been on their deathbed and thought, man, I wish I'd have played more video games or wasted more time or, you know, acted a fool more often i don't i don't think anybody's i think they've, they've looked back with regret quite a few times at uh, the time that was wasted but um yeah that's uh that's my two cents i guess